What up, though, heist man? The foe talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. Oh, baby, you can't taste racism. Mm -mm -mm. You sure can't taste racism. I guess not. But I guess Ben Stein think you can. If y'all don't know who Ben Stein is, Ben Stein is an actor. He used to do his thing back in the days, man. He was in that Ferris Bueller movie with the um, monotone voice. Bueller, Bueller. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. And he also did them dry eye commercials, them clear eyes. Y'all know back in the days. But right now, I guess he think he can taste racism. Well, I guess, I don't know. They always say something around this time of the year, man. Black History Month. That's when they come out and they say some things. And right now, Ben Stein, he said something, man. It's crazy. What he said is... He missed the days when large African women was on the syrup box. I don't know why he think they taste different or something. I guess. Is, is that what he thinking? They changed their name from Pearl. I mean, from Ancient Mama to Pearl Milling Group. Um, to me, Pearl sound like a black lady name. So it still sound the same. Like, what was he thinking? Was he just sitting at home and like, <clears throat> my pancake sure tastes better when a large black woman was on there. Like, Mammy. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember Mammy from... What's that movie? That show, Tom and Jerry. That's what he's thinking of. He's thinking of Mammy. He wanted an old black lady on the box. I guess to make his food taste better. Can we say the same thing for KFC? Y'all remember KFC had the white man on there? It was Kentucky Fried Chicken. Now it's just KFC with a black man on the box. Now Cuba Gooden is not on that box, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all tell me, how y'all feel about this? Do y'all think that's racist? <clears throat> Do you think that's racist, Charlene? I'd have to hear the context of what he said. He didn't know. take anything and just throw it in, but I'm not defending him. Oh, okay. But I personally, as a child, when I wasn't thinking anything about race, I, I did like the bottle shaped like the woman. I I think the oh um, no that was Miss Butterworth. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it was Miss Butterworth. I, I, they, but but what what uh, Aunt your mama? It mm. wasn't shaped like that. Mm. Shit, I guess I didn't care as long as I got my syrup. See, that's how it should be. But KFC, listen, KFC when it was. Kentucky Fried Chicken tastes way better. So it tastes better? Yeah, I need the old white man back. Oh, Lord. No. Yeah. I take the one with Cuba Gooden Jr. in there. Mm -mm, I need the old ah! racist old white man to make my chicken. Chicken tastes better when there's some hate in it. Look at look at um, Chick-fil-A. Oh, Chick-fil-A do taste better. We not talking about chicken. And... <laughs> hey, that's crazy. Um, It's a wild story, though. I got to see more about this, though. Ben Stein, like, he, I don't know. What, what, what he, did he... What'd he do? I don't know. I had to hear the whole context of everything. I mean, that, it's a little weird to say it, though. Yeah, he just said, like, he, he old to see now, now. He, yeah, he a little bit older. I don't know. I, don't know. I ain't gonna say he's see now. Be up there in the age, and he would have said that he missed he missed the old black lady on the box. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he had some little crush or something. I don't know. But we definitely gonna be talking about this Friday right here on this channel, because I go live every Friday talking about stuff just like this. You just gotta come through and holler at me, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pepper that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through and holler at your boy. All right. This time. But I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.